Namaste. Good morning, beautiful humans. So I'm really excited this morning. The wife ordered me a uh, pull behind cart for the uh, ATV, UTV uh, trailer. And uh, it's made by Impact Implements. And uh, it's a heavy duty trailer. It's, uh, I think 1500 pound capacity. Uh, it's got like a 15 inch pass through ground clearance, uh, a couple big rubber tires and it looked like, uh, looked like it was gonna be a good unit. So really I'm hoping well, actually waiting for FedEx to get here, hoping it's going to be exactly what we want. And uh, I also bought a coupler I'm going to put on there. But today's video, we're going to receive this thing and assemble it and see what we got. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's roll video. So FedEx didn't show yesterday. Hit or miss with those guys. Yeah, UPS, they always come when they're supposed to. FedEx, eh, they always drive by, but they don't always have my package. So anyway, sharpening the chainsaw, staying busy. And that's it. Waiting on this thing so we can uh, again roll video. Okay. Don't have to stop. Have a great afternoon. All right, you too, buddy. All right, gang. So here we go. Two boxes. Yep. Impact implements. XT1500 ATV UTV utility trailer. That's us. That's one box. And then tires in a separate box all right let's get to it all right gang so if you can see here step one is verify you have all your parts yeah and i did exactly that and i would suggest you do the same you have two pages uh the first page and the second page that list every part on here and uh you see what i've done here but i separated everything um, third step in, I went ahead and looked through this uh, guidebook real quick, and I think it's the third step in. You end up putting this together, uh, laying upside down like so. So I went ahead and set those up. And then uh, here's the rest of everything else. Sorry about the shadows, gang. I'm working inside. It's a little cold outside. Um, anyway, got the axles, all the bolts, everything's here, uh, just like it's supposed to be. So we know we got everything, and we're ready to go, yeah? So... Let's see here. Step two is going to be to assemble the axle. So there's a straight tube and then the two axle shafts, uh, which I do have. So I'll get those put together and uh, or get those gathered up rather and we'll get them put together. Yeah, let's do it. All right, gang. So for step two is uh, assemble the axle. Yeah. So another thing I went ahead and did uh, and just so you know, I didn't find on here, usually it gives you a materials list of what you'll need to uh, get the job done. But uh, you want to grab some kind of tool set and just to let you know ahead of time what you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a three quarter inch uh, socket and a three quarter inch wrench, or in my case I'm using a crescent for this. Uh, and then you'll also need a half inch and uh, a nine sixteenths and a 7 16 again you'll need a wrench for each one and a socket for each one is is handy if you or two wrenches whatever you've got to work with um, but that's what you're going to need for the bolts and then uh, i went ahead and grabbed a uh, a little bit of grease because i've got axles so i'm going to go ahead and, and grease those axles it, i don't know if it tells us to or not but and then i also grabbed a, a rubber mallet in case i need to beat something in the submission and that's it. So we're going to start with step one. And that's going to be these three pieces right here. We've got the two axle pieces. And then there's this uh, straight bar that goes across the two axles. And that's going to set down in there like so. And then you've got, uh, that's going to be put together with four, four of the five half inch uh, hardware that, that came with it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and slide these in here. Uh, two on each side and get them bolted down, yeah? 
So we want a washer on one side, yeah? Washer on this side, putting it through. Another washer on the other side. And then this is a uh, self-locking nut. It's got a little in, uh, insert with Teflon inside on one side of it. So that Teflon side goes to the outside. It's the last thing to get screwed on. Just like so, get them bad boys started. We'll put all four in and get them tightened down. All right, axle is complete. All right, so number two, axle is complete. Put, the, put together. And step number three, we are going to attach the axle, which is gonna be attaching the axle to the cargo beds, yeah? And that's it. We're gonna slip this uh, axle down over top of here and get that bolted up, yeah? So let's get that done. That's going to be using uh, the 516's hardware. And when you put this on, you want to make sure this right here is facing. This is the forward end up here. So we want to face that that way. Like so. Yeah, let's get some bolts in here, yeah? All right, gang, step three is complete. We got the axles attached to the bed. So step four is gonna be assemble the hitch tube and it's gonna be two pieces put into one and that's using our three eight stuff. Two of the three eight. So we've got both of those pieces right here. So I'll get those put together here. All right, so I got both my pieces here, yeah? Got one here, one here. This is going to be, I guess, what they're calling facing up. All right. So that's the way it's facing in the instructions. And then it tells us uh, when we go to put this one on, as you can, these two front bolt holes right here, they're offset. They're not center on the bar. So they're a little more one way than the other. You want that closest to the top on here. So that's going to be our top. That's going to go up here where this channel is. And that's it. We're sliding them two bolt holes in the match. And, uh, Putting a couple of bolts through there, yeah? All right. All right, so we have this now complete. We are put together, bolted up. So next step is gonna be step five, assemble the foot latch release. All right, so we got uh, two more 3 8 bolts. And those are gonna go through here with the two sleeves. So let me gather that up and we'll put that together. All right, here we go. We've got our bolts. Here's our latch, yeah? And this goes on there just like this. We're gonna go ahead and put this one on. It's got one bolt going through here. We 
we've got these two bars right here so if you can see there's a 5 16 hole and a 3 8 hole the 3 8 is a bigger hole so you want the bigger hole to go through the bigger bolt that we're putting in which is this 3 8 bolt so we're going to slide our bolt in there part way take our bigger side slide that on same thing on this one sliding that on and continuing with the bolt Okay, sure enough. All right, so step six is uh, assembling the latch. And basically all we're gonna be doing is putting in this uh, quarter inch uh, bolt. Yeah, so we're gonna put this in and then put the bolt through it. So you get the spring on there. You want the angle facing upward, You're just like this. that in there that's it put that through just like so All right, step seven, connect the hitch tube assembly to the trailer body. All right, and we got it all right there, so. All right, here we go. Step eight, attaching the wheels. Perfect. Let's get it done. All right, so while you guys weren't looking, I went ahead and put a little grease on the axles and on the wheel bearing. All right, gang, that's it. We are up to side rails, yeah? Put the gates on this bad boy, see what we got, see what it looks like. So while I'm putting these on, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would and you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. It makes it go a little further, farther, faster for YouTube folks. and. Of course, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe. So I'm going to put these bad boys in, and then all that's left, all that's left after this is just putting the pins in. If you want to keep these in there solid, myself, I'm not going to be doing that. I'll be taking them right back out pretty soon, so I'm not going to pin them down. But that's it, gang. tailgate perfect beautiful that's us we're ready to roll now I need some pretty weather 
All right. Thanks a ton for watching, everybody. Much love and respect. Catch you on the next one.